You know what I never understood? Is why decks from the anime get so many views. Like Blue Eyes White Dragons. That deck is such trash, like Seto Kaiba was so lame. And Dark Magicians, like, that's every scrub's wet dream. You know what deck I miss and I really liked from the anime was Harpy Ladies. Yeah. And my Valentine. She was one hot mama. What's up everybody in Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube land? This is Jesse Byrne representing Team FDK, and today I'm going to update my favorite classic deck from the anime, and it's one of my favorite decks of all times, which is Harpy Lady. Nobody really plays this deck. It's really outdated, but it's still a lot of fun, so I wanted to update it and show you guys what I was playing. I know the last time I posted this video, it got like 20 likes, and it got like 2,000 views, so I guess a lot of people liked to see my Harpies, so I'm going to show you guys the deck. So we start off by playing three Harpy Lady number one. This is the main Harpy Lady of the deck just because you have to play it for namesake. And then the MVP is three Chandler. You discard to make all your Harpy plays. It lets you special summon a Harpy monster by discarding a Harpy card from your hand. And then you special summon one from your deck. And if it's a dragon type monster on the field, this card becomes a level 7. So you can make a lot of crazy plays because you can make your rank 7s and you can make your rank 4s and you can link summon using this. So it's basically discard one card, special summon a harpy monster, bust it. Now I play three queen, walking terraforming, lets you search out your harpy's hunting ground. Then three harpist, harpist is busted AF because the fact that you can, if this card is in your graveyard and it leaves the field, you get to search for a harpy monster, so it's really good. No one two dancer. I probably bumped this up to three if I had a set a third copy of dancer. But right now I'm okay with just playing two because this card is still expensive for some reason. So what this lets you do is it lets you bounce back a wind monster to give an additional normal summon of a wind monster. So you can get into a lot of crazy combos with this. And if you have Harpy's hunting ground on the field, you get to pop multiple times. So I really enjoy playing two. And then the one of is the Harpy's Pet Dragon. A lot of people don't play this card anymore because the rank 7s are a little outdated, but I think it's still crazy because you can get into combos with this deck that nobody really plays. And in general, I love playing this card, and it's one of my favorite artworks. Then two, Summoner Monk. Summoner Monk is also like the heart and soul because you play a lot of spells. And sometimes you just don't want to have him in your hand at a certain time, so you can ditch him by putting him in defense position. You can ditch the spell, and then special summon a level 4 lower monster from your deck, so it lets you have access to Chandler really fast. Then moving on to the spells, 3 Hunting Ground. This card is really good because it pumps up all your Harpy monsters, and not only that, when you summon a Harpy, you get to pop a spell or trap. So if you end up popping... Your opponents, it works out really good, but you really want to use it to pop your Hysteric Sign. Because with Hysteric Sign, if this card's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you get to add three Harpy cards during the end phase, so it's a plus two, which is really good. And also, if you activate this, you get to search for your other spell right here, your Elegant Egotist. But if you activate one effect, you can't activate the other during the same turn. So that's why I only play one Elegant Egotist. This is to wrap up the Harpy spells here. And then I like to play Double Desires. You really don't have to play this card if you don't want to, but I feel like it really helps you get to a lot of your other combo pieces, but it also sucks sometimes when you banish your combo pieces. Then two Scapegoats, which is my ultimate tech for Harpies, because with Scapegoats, you can activate this during your opponent's end phase, special summon four tokens, and it lets you do link plays. And Harpies is a bit more of a slower deck, so Scapegoat comes in handy in making leak monsters. And then for the traps, three of the Harpies Feather Duster. 
and then to Hysteric Party. Hysteric Party basically gets all your OTKs off, gets all your Link plays off, gets all of your plays in general off. It's just really busted. And I wish more archetypes had cards like Hysteric Party in their decks. So then two Anti-Spell Fragrances. The premise of playing Anti-Spell Fragrance is if you activate this during your opponent's turn, they have to set all their spell cards before they can activate them, and they have to wait a turn. So it hurts Sky Strikers, it hurts Trick Stars, it pretty much hurts everything in the meta. But also because if you have your Field Spell, your Harpies Hunting Ground, and you have this set, you activate it, your opponent sets all their stuff, and then next turn when you summon a Harpy Monster, you get to pop all their face down cards, so they never even get a chance of using them, they never get a chance to activate them, they just get destroyed. So I feel like two anti-spell fragrance is a must in Harpies, especially now in this updated list. And then for the last traps is the Solemn Brigade. Three strikes, Judgment and Warning. I wanted to play this just because I feel like Harpies is slow, so why not play as much awesome back row as you can? And I really don't care about paying life points in Harpies because it's one of those types of decks where you're either going to win or you're going to lose. So you might as well just play, play it and have fun. So moving on to the extra deck. Harpies Pet Phantasmal Dragon to put in for game. And then Lightning Chidori, the Ice Beast, Bambuska, Big Eye. And then I was playing Draco Stack, but from testing with level 7s recently, from playing Mermels and everything, I decided to play Tomahawk instead because if you make the tokens, you can also make Cleefort Genius. And you get to go to a lot of crazy link plays with these monsters, and it's really the best way to play Harpies nowadays is to try to link consistently and OTK your opponent. So then we play the two of this awesome fly now that they came out with. I really love this card because it's basically just like Mrs. Radiant or Miss Starboy or Doolittle Chimera where you play this monster gives your wind monsters 500 and then all earth I believe it is. Yeah, all all earth. Yeah, all earth monsters lose 500. So it works out really well and I really like playing this card. In general, I'm glad they made it for Harpies. I want to make it play it in Yosinjis as well. And then a mini nightmare package, one goblin, one uh, phoenix, and one phoenix, and one griffin, excuse me. And one firewall, one deco talker, and one trigate wizard. So this was Jesse Byrne representing Team FDK. I hope you guys really enjoy my updated version of Harpy Ladies. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Out.